Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We are an hour away from game two in the NBA Finals. I want to get straight to Nine News anchors Tom Green and Alex Lewis, who join us tonight from Ball Arena. Hey, guys, let's talk some nuggets. Yes, please. Jenny, you can, it feels like you can feel the collective energy of Nuggets Nation out here outside of Ball Arena. Uh, I mean, it is happening. Game two is here, the first in franchise history, and we can show you a look. The luckiest of fans right now are filing into the arena. The doors opened at 4 p.m., and everybody just so excited surrounding the stadium and, and certainly throughout Denver. It kind of feels like a basketball town right now. Well, it certainly is. It's the uh, the epicenter of the basketball year universe Denver Colorado for the first time in history and and I think so many fans have taken advantage of this opportunity to dial in on this basketball team we have much more to come about the Nuggets game two and the possibility the Heat are going to be making some lineup changes we'll do that in just a couple of minutes but one thing that everybody in town for the NBA finals was feeling this morning was wet it was a very soggy Sunday and let's get over to Lauren Robinson she has much more on what's happening with our weather this is uh, not very Denver like right now you know but I like that introduction what everyone was feeling today wet and that's true we have had a very soggy weekend and that continued into today and will continue through a good portion of our seven day forecast but if you're heading out maybe you're gonna tailgate maybe you're bar hopping maybe you're going out to the game whatever you're doing you do want to make sure that you pack some sort of wet weather gear now temperatures won't be too cool but to, it will be kind of rainy out there. We have a look at our HD Doppler radar here, and you can see over Colorado where we just have scattered showers and storms. Nothing suspect, suspected to be uh, severe as we go through the rest of the day. But let's take a look here across the northern portions of the Front Range and I-25 corridor where you can see those heavier showers just pushed through. Then as we take a look in Denver, downtown Denver, we saw some rain move through, but we're in a little bit of a drier period right now, and I think that's going to stick around for the next uh, couple of hours or so. So Hopefully everyone's still making their way to the game could stay dry. Now we do have a flood advisory up north until seven o'clock. This is going to be Larimer County around the Cameron Peak burn area where you want to watch for the rapidly rising water there due to all of the excessive rainfall at DIA. We're still dry, but very cloudy 57 degrees winds coming in from the north northwest at around six miles per hour and temperatures all across the front range in eastern plains anywhere from the middle 50s to 70s. So you could see 57 in Denver, but just South in Pueblo, we're at 70 degrees, 50s and 60s in the high country, 85 out west. So we had a warm day across the western slope, but we do have more rain ahead as we get ready for this next work week. Temperatures will eventually rise midweek to the middle to upper 70s, but warmer weather does equal stronger storm possibilities. So we've seen this cooler temperatures with scattered showers, maybe a few light isolated storms, but we will see those stronger storms return. I'll have all of that information for you just ahead of my full seven day forecast certainly unusual weather but it is not putting the damper on the fan spirits by any means and I feel like it's almost more excitement going into game two because we know we're going to experience a different Miami team this time around they can't do what they were doing last game to you know compete against the the elite offense that we're dealing with with the Nuggets incredible defense that they showed last game so what are we going to have in store well I know one thing playing game two is a lot more fun if you won game one right <laughs> I, th I think any Points. changes that the Nuggets plan to make will be subtle uh, it certainly seems like the heat maybe uh, shaking up the lineup a little bit and while we're enjoying this weather outdoors Jacob Toby has chosen the easy ride he's gone inside he has the latest on what uh, both coaches had to say just uh, within the last hour Jacob yeah hey guys no rain in here uh, just excitement from the fans inside Ball Arena ahead of game two expect game two to be closer tonight 